This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, June the 9th, 2019. It's the feast of St. Ephraim the Syrian, a.k.a. Ephraim the Deacon. Now, Syria is a modern country which borders modern-day Israel and Lebanon and whose capital is Damascus. Lots of stuff in the early church happened in that part of the world as the Persian Empire collapsed and Christianity spread around the Middle East. Ephraim isn't from Syria, though. The Syrian in his name implies the Syriac language, which is very closely related to Aramaic. Ephraim was a serious writer and a hymnographer, that is, someone who writes down hymns. He wrote at least 400 hymns himself, and he had to be inventive because neither the four-bar Gregorian chant notation nor the five-bar modern musical notation existed yet. Ephraim did all this in the 4th century AD. He was a serious theologian on top of his interest in music and is still one of the most important saints in the Syriac Orthodox Church. In 1920, he was named a doctor of the church in the Roman Catholic Church. Today in AD 68, the Roman Emperor Nero committed suicide. Now, most of us think about the great fire of Rome and Nero's horrific persecution of the Christians. The two most popular images of Nero are him fiddling while Rome burned and his name being numerized into Hebrew letters as 666. The full story is more nuanced, of course. Nero was a teenager when he came to the throne. He was cocky and self-involved. He liked actors and stage plays, but that stuff was for the lower classes. It was embarrassing to all the Romans that their emperor wanted to be on the Roman equivalent of an MTV reality show. He also styled himself as a master musician and a great swordsman. And because he was the emperor, there were very few people interested in correcting him, especially if you liked your skin without a bunch of gaping holes in it. Ultimately, the men of Rome had had enough, and Nero burned through whatever love they had for his ancestors. When Servius Galba was named emperor by the powerful provincial army under the command of General Vendex, Nero fled Rome and tried to kill himself. When he chickened out, his private secretary, Epaphroditus, ran him through with a longsword, and thus ended the Julio-Claudian dynasty of Rome. Nero was born on December 15, 37 AD, and died today at the age of 30. Today in 1873, a 16-hand thoroughbred from Virginia lined up at Belmont Park in Elmont, New York, alongside four other horses. But no one thought they had a chance. This horse had set track records in Kentucky and at the Preakness, and two minutes and 24 seconds later, the fastest one and a half miles on dirt in history at the time, Secretariat became the ninth Triple Crown winner in history and the first since Citation had gone three for three 25 years earlier. Secretariat's two seasons of racing were like watching lightning, and his three-year-old season remains one of the most record-setting thoroughbred seasons of all time. Christopher and Penny Chenery became superstars, and their Meadow Stable turned out 663 named foals once Secretariat went off to stud. The horse died in 1989 at the age of 19. Since Secretariat, four horses have won the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes in the same year. Seattle Slough in 1977, Affirmed in 1978, American Pharaoh in 2015, and Justify, who is Secretariat's foal, in 2018. And finally, today is the birthday in 1875 of Henry Dale an English pharmacologist and physiologist who took home the Nobel in 1936 for his work in acetylcholine and nerve conductivity. His work set the stage for all sorts of modern improvements in pain medication, anesthesiology, nerve repair, and even advanced prosthetics. Dale won a chest full of medals for his work and died at the ripe old age of 93 in Cambridge in 1968. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.